do you ever wish you could dub videos into 10 different languages in under 10 minutes? And how about making that speaker look like they're actually saying those words? Well, this is what Kapwing's AI dubbing and lip sync tools can do. Every Kapwing dub looks real, it sounds natural, and it matches the way people actually speak. Best of all, it only takes a couple of clicks. So whether you have one individual video or an entire content library with like hours of footage, this tool is designed to help you save time and reach a global audience with minimal effort. So let's take a look at how this works, starting with step one, upload your video. To start, head to kapwing.com and upload your video file. Kapwing supports long form content up to two hours long, so it's suitable for dubbing full length interviews or training sessions. Step two, set your language and voice. The next step is just as easy as the first. Open the dubbing tab on the left toolbar and select dub video. A box will appear where you can select the original language and the new output language with a ton of languages to choose from. You can even translate into multiple languages at the same time. Super quick, super easy. And for those who already have a translation file to work with, you can upload an SRT or VTT, which is super useful if you're using a translation management system or already working with a localization team. And then finally, you can choose whether you want the video to clone the voice of the original speaker or to change the voice entirely using AI. Click Use Stock Voice to explore our library of AI voices where there are over 180 to choose from and they can be filtered by age, sex, or tone, like conversational or news. It's funny to think about what category my voice would fall into. I'm hoping it's not middle-aged. <laughs> Anyway, moving on, step three is add translation rules. Located under advanced settings, Kapwing recently introduced some brand new features that can take your dubbing game to the next level. Just a little note, if you are looking for quick speed and realism, you might not always need this feature because Kapwing's AI does a really, really good job right off the bat. But if you're say a business who wants to make sure some things aren't translated like a brand name, this is going to be a feature you can definitely use. Under Brand Glossary, you will see a button labeled Translation Rules. Translation rules allow you to ensure certain items are translated exactly the way you see fit. For example, automatically translating artificial intelligence from English to Spanish will create Intelligencia Artificial, yet you can set your own rule to make it IA for every future translation. Or for the brand name Kapwing, you would enter K-A-P-W-I-N-G to ensure the word remains the same through different language translations. Next, we have pronunciation rules. As you may expect, AI systems find it kind of hard to pronounce company names like Huawei or Givenchy. Pronunciation rules are your chance to lay out the phonetics of how you want a word to be pronounced. Finally, when you exit the pop-up box, you will notice a timing toggle. When speech is translated from one language to another, oftentimes the timing changes. Some languages just take longer to say the same thing, while others are quicker. So that can mean that often the timing of the speech feels out of sync with the visuals. So by switching the timing toggle on, Kapwing will automatically adjust the speed to create more natural and realistic alignment between the audio and video. Basically, just click it for a smoother and more professional result. Now on to step four, which is review and edit. Before clicking the cyan dub video button, you can take an important review step by selecting the button above. As you see, a transcript of your translation will appear, and you can edit that transcript to ensure 100% accuracy across your script and save valuable time by ensuring you don't have to restart the dubbing workflow. Our favorite feature is the search and replace function along the top toolbar. Simply search for a word that appears in the transcript and enter your replacement. Those replacements will be applied across the entire transcript. And notice how every time you change a word in the original transcript, the new language translation will be automatically updated. So you have uploaded a recording, you have selected a new language, you have edited some translation rules, you reviewed it, and now you're clicking dub video. Now what? Well now, your video will appear in the timeline with four core elements. We have one, translated voiceover, two, background audio, three, the video, and there's also a subtitles layer. Your priority should be the very bottom layer, the translated voice that we've highlighted with the number one. Simply select the voice layer at the bottom and your script will appear. You can also double click any of the words and the same advanced settings will pop up so you can continue customizing the translation. And if you click the backwards arrow, you could even change the language or voice used and relaunch the dubbing process. The top layer, your subtitles are also customizable. Or if you wanted, you could completely remove them. But let's say you wanted to keep them and there were some spelling imperfections. 
Simply select that top subtitle layer and head back to the Translate tab. Here you will see a brand glossary in the top right. Open that and this will give you the option of entering some custom spellings. All you need to do is type out the word that has been misspelled and enter a replacement. Now the subtitles will be updated with your custom spelling added and saved for use in all future translations so you never have to do the same process again. It's clever, we know. Anyway, on to step five, which is add lip sync. Lip sync has been around for years, but it's only really now that the quality is good enough. So that's why you'll start to see more sort of product demos, lip synced interviews or influencer content. And once your dub is generated and edited, you can apply lip sync to tie everything together with a realistic talking head. But to make the most out of your credits, it's important that you only apply this lip sync once you're 100% confident with your translation. But here is our lip sync in action. Translating your video and then applying lip sync allows you to seamlessly communicate your message to different audiences. Traducir tu video y luego aplicar lip sync te permite comunicar tu mensaje a diferentes audiencias. Now to apply lip sync, navigate to the translate section and click lip sync. One more pop-up will appear, but you just need to hit apply to start the process. And that leads us to step six, export and share. Once you're happy with your dub, export the final project via the export button in the top right. You can also generate a shareable link or send directly via email using the blue share button or post directly to social media without leaving the editor thanks to this share button that appears after the export. So there you have it. Kapwing's dubbing tool is not just about translation. It is about creating multilingual content that feels natural without the need for professional editing experience. So go ahead and click on the link in the description to try it for yourself for free. And if you liked this video, please give it a like, make sure you're subscribed for more updates and let us know in the comments what you think we should talk about next. I'm Carson, this is Kapwing, and I will see you next time.